to get started here in Bloomington. And in the away jerseys, Monmouth in the midnight blue with white trim. Tennessee Tech in the white jerseys with purple and gold trim. And Monmouth with the first possession of the game. They go inside. That's where they have a size advantage. And Tennessee Tech, let's look at tonight's starting lineup. Brought to you by Capital One. Quinn and Owens lead the way. Carter started the last five games. Grimes and Walker. They've got three players that average double figures. And Monmouth going right to the hole. Ariana Vanderhoof had a terrific final game against Towson in the CAA final. And she's fouled and will go to the free throw line for the Hawks. We'll take a look at the starting lineups brought to you by Capital One for the Hawks. Tinsley is the leading scorer for this team, over 12 points a game. Vanderhoop at the line. Casey Donovan, the junior. Marsicano, Lovin Marsicano, the grad transfer from St. Joseph's, and Bell Cranbull, all CAA defensive team inside. Finished third in the OVC. They were preseason picked first. And had a tough go of it in the middle. We'll talk about what turned their season around as we go today. But they made a run through the tournament to win. Nice shot bouncing around on the rim by Vanderhoof. Gwynn, nice pass underneath, and it's blocked inside. That's one of the strengths for Monmouth. They're number one in the Colonial Athletic Association in blocks per game. Yeah, and Cranbill leads the, the CAA in, in shot blocking. So Tech is going to have a really hard time of taking the ball inside. They're going to have to get their points from the three-point line or away from the, 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 the paint. Head coach for Tennessee Tech, Kim Rosemond, who is has been the head coach since 2016. Uh, 16, a long-time Vanderbilt assistant coach. Worked under Melanie Balkum there, played at Ole Miss, was the 2019 OBC Coach of the Year. And a nice, nice drive to the basket, that's Jada Gwynn. Into the game, Lucy Thomas, number 25, and she's fouled Jenny Bogus in her second season at Monmouth. The year before she came, they only won two games. Last year, they were 14 and 16. This year, Finished the season at 18 and 15 and won four games in four wow. days yeah. in the CAA tournament. Well, Brenda, both of these coaches have done it. The assistant coach, right? Very good, solid assistants. Learned from some really good coaches and have worked their way up to have their own programs now. Owens for three. Got it. Of course, she has a quick release on her shot. And she shoots almost 41% from three-point range. One of the best three-point shooters, the best by percentage in the OVC. And Tennessee Tech wants to rebound and run. They want to score a little quicker. Reagan Grimes from the top of the key. Just an 18% three-point shooter on the year. That's not really her strength. But she is a tremendous athlete. Comes from a very athletic family. And she commits the foul as Monmouth goes to the paint again. 1994, the only loss, Stanford in 1998. The number one seed to have won 10 straight titles. Brackets close soon, so scan the QR code. <laughs> now we, I don't know about our picks were very good, but well, we figured out how to put the, the circle, the dot in the circle. That's right, just push the push the button for your selection. <laughs> nice three point shot. Jordan Brock, she was out all of last year with an injury, and she steps in and gets that steal. Sets up her teammate, Peyton Woo! Carter, and Carter's hit a couple of threes to get things started for the okay. Eagles. Carter. The Tennessee Tech's really doing a good job of keeping the ball in front. They're switching on every screen, every handoff, trying to keep the ball in front of them. Jania Hall with a tough drive. Yeah, tough drive. Shot through contact. Well, here's what I like about Hall, Brenda. She started early in her career, and now she's coming off the bench and has really accepted that role. Carter! Again, she is on fire. Three three-pointers, and we haven't even had a media timeout. And a turnover for Monmouth. 
Yes, and Tennessee Tech has the momentum early. Carter with three three-pointers already in the game. Well, when you're a shooter, you get in a, on a roll, and Carter is on a roll, and she's feeling it. And you know what? Her teammates are finding her and getting her the ball. She is setting the tone for the Eagles right now. She, she wants Kim Coach Roseman to understand that uh, I need to start. Casey Donovan, the 6'1 junior. She hasn't played the last five games with a stress reaction, but we thought we might see her back. Two seconds on the shot clock. Brock wide left, and it's a shot clock violation. I'm sure a few brackets are already busted on the men's side Ooh. after today's games. Uh, My Prince goodness. Yeah, Princeton winning today. In Sierra Zona. Uh -huh. And a nice drive. Right. That's why you see so much excitement from both these teams. Yeah. We're all tied up as they're just 15 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Yeah, I just think they're they're just uh it, it's a credit to their staff and, and, and just how hard these kids work. Grimes rises up, but can't get that one to fall as we're all tied up. We said this would be even. And as you said, everybody wants to be her teammate, and what a start she's given Tennessee Tech. However, after starting 6 of 11, they're 0 for their last 5 as a team. Haven't scored the last almost four minutes of the first quarter, so Owens drives in. Well, Mom has just stepped up their defense. They see what, what Tennessee Tech is doing right now, and they're taking away the three, and uh, as Owens has attacked the baskets, this missed a wide open layup. Anna Walker with the rebound for the Golden Eagles. Owens, nice. little pass. Pick and roll into Walker and then a foul. That's the first foul of the game on Monmouth. Marcia Cano was inside the restricted arc. She averages 10 points per game. And... She played extremely well in the first two rounds. She's really a versatile player for Tech, and they take advantage of her, especially during the tournament. Nice ball reversal, three-point attempt, offensive rebound, and put back for Lucy Thomas. I like rebounding, and it, it gives you a, a second-chance look. And they're number one in the Colonial Athletic Association at a plus 4.2 rebound margin per game. And it's something that Jenny Baga said to us that she said, you know, this may come as a shock to you, but I wasn't <laughs> the best athlete. She said, but I knew that if you worked hard and got yourself in position, you could rebound. And that's what I emphasize. Oh, no. exactly. Not everybody can shoot the ball great, but you can get down and play defense. Regan Grimes picked up her second foul, the freshman out of Nashville. Ooh, Van Hoop has a great first step to the basket. If you're going to peak, you need to peak at your right when you go into your conference tournament. Turnover, and Ari said, it's a business trip. Trip. We're ready to shock the world. And Bree said, we're not done making history. Don't you love that? Don't you? Th that's Absolutely. winning at breeds success, and, and uh, they're a very confident team right now. Lucy Thomas already in double figure. Yeah, and, and Monmouth just pounding the ball inside. And again, the height advantage, they're really they're trying to take advantage of that. Jordan Brock knocks down the three. That's the all-time leader in three-pointers made in program history. you got to love that. Last year she went through a knee injury, sat out the whole year, thought her career was over, and got a chance to come back for her sixth year. Missed shot by... Laureau. Yeah, what a story Jordan Brock is. Owens picking up on where Brock left off and hits the three. And that's how they shoot, Brenda. Yeah, they're, no they're number one in three-point percentage in the OBC. Owens has that one taken away. Five turnovers for each team now. It's a really fast pace, up and down. Both teams want to run. Great tempo for the game. Vanderhoop. And a timeout by Tennessee Tech. Jania Hall picked up the foul for Monmouth. Defense, 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 
Brock with the basketball is being hounded by Marcicano. Nice. And a foul on the three-point shot. And Jordan yeah. Brock says, take that. Take that. A lot of movement. Yes, yeah, so Tennessee Tech, just a lot of movement, attacking the basket and drawing everyone in and then kicking out for the three, and Brock's doing what she does. Shoots the three and gets an and one. Everett hit that game winner for St. John's in the game right before us so they would advance and now we've got a four-point play completed by jordan brock jania hall recognizes the mismatch there as she is able to get around kiara hill and that's been really difficult right now for tennessee tech to keep monmouth in front of them Holly, that's 11 lead changes and four ties already, and we're just 16 minutes into this game. Now, another lead change as yeah. Owens hits the three. Well, you better hurry up and get that in because it's going to change right after you say that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> They're falling right and left. They're falling right and left. Nice help defense. That time, rotation over by Peyton Clark, or Peyton Carter, excuse me. Boom! And another three from Jordan Brock. Multiple three-pointers by multiple Golden Eagles. Owens with three three-pointer. Carter with four three-pointers. And Brock now with three. Tennessee Tech is, they don't like to shoot the two, Brenda. They say, I don't want, I'm not, I'm staying out in the arc. They're making it look easy. So Owens gets her chance. Allison Clark was on the 2000 team that went to the NCAA tournament the last time the Golden Eagles went to the NCAA tournament. Vanderhoop commits that travel. There's a lot of history with Tennessee Tech. In the 70s, Tennessee Tech was 11-3 and against the Lady Vols. And then you came to the Lady Vols, and yeah, they were 0-14 well, after that. Mary Nell Metters, one of the legends of our game, built the program at Tennessee Tech. We know she's watching tonight. Yeah. Shout out to Mary Nell, who was a terrific coach in the WNBA as well. And I know she's enjoying her retirement now, but uh, she built this program. I know she's very proud of Tennessee Tech. Yeah, they, they had so many All-Americans, and you know, you talk about that rivalry, and, and uh, Jana McGee, who's my best friend, was on that team, and we couldn't stand each other, and now we're great friends, so that shows you how the evolution. Tennessee Tech on a 10 to nothing run now. Yeah, nice, nice move, just inside. Casey Donovan ends the 10 to nothing run with her shot inside. Donovan now with five points for the Hawks. There's the lefty. Well, there's something unusual right there, Brenda. That was a two. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Vanderhoop going to try nice. to get some momentum for yeah. Monmouth, and she scores. Get this, Holly. Tennessee Tech has made their last eight field goals. Well, they've taken good shots for for their team. Clock is winding down in the second quarter. Nice backdoor cut. Kicks it back outside, inside and out, but just too hot to handle for Peyton Carter. Tennessee Tech not going to be able to add on to the lead to end it. And that's the way the half will end with Tennessee Tech 10 of 15. Owens, Carter, and Brock have made all the three-pointers. You can see all over the court. Yeah, they're, they're taking advantage of just spreading the floor and getting it done on the three-point line. Monmouth leading in the paint 22 to 4. So they're going inside Tennessee Tech making the shots from the perimeter. So as Tennessee Tech starts, where what do they need to do to continue to build on this momentum? Well, if they can continue to get the threes off, continue to get them off, and just a lot of movement, I, I'm, I'm sure Monmouth is going to start crowding the three-point shooter. Yeah, ten three-pointers in the first half for Tennessee Tech. Four two-pointers. <laughs> I mean, that's just remarkable. Yeah, well... A coach's dream if all those threes go in. No doubt. you got to love it. Five seconds on the shot clock. It's away from Gwen. Three seconds 
Does she know it? Misses short. And it will be Monmouth basketball. But Tennessee Tech couldn't take advantage of drawing those three fouls. Got it. Three-pointer from Casey Donovan. Owens has it knocked away by Vanderhoek. Good defense for Monmouth. And a solid quick hand. Vanderhoek to the hoop. No. Jada Gwynn doesn't have numbers. Pulls up. Another three-pointer, this time for Anna Walker. She hasn't hit a three-pointer. Joan Bonvicini would love to tell you that Joan Bonvicini was on that team for Southern Connecticut that beat Tara Vanderveer's Indiana team. And Joan Bonvicini was the head coach at Arizona for quite some time. That's right. He was in uh, Stanford's conference. So there we go. It all comes together. Uh, Regan Hurst committed her third foul. These two teams really have the, op the ability to score and score quick. And Owens does just that. Big things at stake. And they go and play Indiana. The winner plays Indiana. But what's really cool is the fact that by having this first four game, one of these teams is going to get to lead today with a victory. They're a 16 seed. If they were matched up against the number one seed right away, it would be yeah. tough. They're playing in this atmosphere, just the whole gamut of the experience with the NCAA tournament. A foul committed on Cranbull for Monmouth. Drive nice. to the other side of the rim for Jada Gwynn. Down by seven at the half. They closed it to within four. The lead stretched back out to eight. But Vanderhoop tried to do something about that. Hoops it up and hits a three. Vanderhoop with 15 points to lead all scorers and draws Monmouth within five. Owens from the top of the key for the answer. And she knew it was going in. She was already posing before it went through the net. Owens, the leading scorer on the year for Tennessee Tech, four of six from three-point range. That's her first three-pointer of the second half. Monmouth, can they answer? No. And then it hits the baseline. But Vanderhoop with the three. And then Owens comes back and says, okay, you make one. They're playing a little game of horse right now, probably. Both coaches know each other well. They've even vacationed together. They have a lot of respect for one another. This is kind of tough having to play this NCAA tournament against your friend, against somebody you respect so much. And during the year when they've struggled, they've gotten on the phone and called each other and talked it through. And, and when I was coaching, Nikki Caldwell coaching at LSU, I'd pick up the phone and call her, and she'd call me. Now, it was a bloodbath. <laughs> when we played each other. Right. Kim Roseman from Tennessee Tech. She's been coaching for the Golden Eagles since 2016. They just they they know each other well and they are battling it out today. And they both talk about how important their assistant coaches are because they were both assistants themselves. Lucy Thomas to the free throw line. Tennessee Tech with their largest lead of the game up by 10. And Lucy Thomas misses both of them, a 64% free throw shooter. Those are the first two free throws that Monmouth has missed tonight. They're 9 of 11 from the free throw line. Brock, what a shot. Eight on the shot clock. Vanderhoof looking inside. Beautiful nice. pass and a nice score by Marcin Canna. And Marcin Canna did her work before the ball got there. Tennessee Tech with a chance. Five seconds in the third quarter. Gwynn wheeling, dealing. No. And it's a 10-point ball game. She came over to us today at practice, and she just she just looked in our eyes and said, I am just so fortunate to be out here. Don't you love that? Yeah. It, it's just being fortunate. Wants to be a future coach, which I love. She was all OVC first team. Her senior year and the all-time leading three-point scorer 
we've mentioned she was out all year. She was the returning leading scorer last year going into the season and went down with an injury before the season ever started. It was devastating. Yeah. And the fact that she is out here is remarkable. Nice offensive rebound by Anna Walker. Anna Walker on the night, four points. She averages about 10 points a game for the Golden Eagles. A 78% free throw shooter. She is undersized. She's a workhorse, high IQ, and just a winner. Can also step out and shoot the three. She has that ability. The made free throw allows Tennessee Tech to pick up in their full court. And Tennessee Tech just taking time off the clock for Monmouth. They to get they getting late in the clock. Great drive. Tinsley with the score, and she draws it back to 10. Falling to the floor of the defender, and Anna Walker keeps her balance and scores. Well, Hall was in position, just fell a little bit before the, the player got there. Good ball reversal to Tinsley. Yes. Got it. Well, Tennessee Tech's done a good job of taking that away, and, and uh, when they get the opportunity, if they get a wide open shot, they're going to make that. Win up and under. Three pointer, too strong. From Laura. Good look. Just not rebounding right near Mama, so they're worried about train Tennessee Tech's transition. Gwen rises up. And a timeout called by Monmouth. Well, and Coach Bogus understands the history and what her team has done and, and just her preparation. She made the comment. She said preparation is separation. I love it, that. I do too. And, and this team has been prepared. They haven't knocked down shots, but they've been they've been getting that opportunity. And uh, I just I love that she talks about how her team stays together game by game, and uh, they play together and get it done. And Lucy Thomas out of the timeout. Good patience by Vanderhoop. She was trapped at half court. Had some poise, they got it through the press and scored. Didn't have a turnover. That's a big play for Monmouth if they want to get back in this game. Well, absolutely, because Tennessee Tech is going to press. Jordan Brock missing on that three. A couple of Monmouth players go to the deck. Vanderhoof out to Tinsley, steps out beyond three. Good rebound yeah. and stick back by Lucy Thomas. Yeah, nice rebound. But this Tennessee Tech squad extended it out, but they turn it over there. The first NCAA victory for the Golden Eagles since 1990. Smart. Tinsley, what an explosion to the rim, but can't convert. And then Lucy Thomas tracks it down. The ball is not going in, but they get a second chance look. Bam! Three-pointer, Jen Laurel. Big shot, and it's a six-point ball. Game, folks. This is a seven to nothing run for Monmouth. Owens, nice rebound. Big, big rebound from Reagan Grimes. Tinsley, no. And a rebound from big Kiera rebound. Hill. Yeah, big rebound. Gwynn goes strong and is fouled by Tinsley. Gwynn, one of three players in double figures for Tennessee Tech. They're led by Owens with 16. There's four players, excuse me, because both Brock and Carter have 12. And now Gwynn at the free throw line. She's got 10. And make that 11. Three nice and a job. half minutes remaining. Yeah. Vanderhoof hangs and scores. What a great ability. Great first step in attacking the basket and finishing. Finishing through traffic. Lucy Thomas leading the way for Monmouth with 16. Vanderhoof now has 15. And you're going to see Tech take a little more time. You Just mentioned a, they, yeah. they've rushed it a little bit these last few possessions. Gwynn pulls up. Jumper got it. Gwen has just been a, just a little silent assassin right now. She was the OVC.
tournament MVP. She had a little bit of a slow start in this game, but has come through as of late. Well, Brenda, she hasn't needed to. Gwen has 14 points now for Tennessee Tech. And just Tennessee Tech just trying to take a little bit of the, the clock off and Monmouth really extending their defense, trying to force the action. And there's another two-pointer from Jordan Brock. 12-point lead for Tennessee Tech. Three-pointer blocked. I think I think Grimes got a, a piece of that one. Yeah, I do too. Grimes is such an athletic player. She was a state champion shot and discus thrower in high school. Her dad played in the NFL. Her mom, a track athlete at both Nebraska and Alabama. Her brother, a defensive end for the University of Oklahoma. Her sister, an OVC champion in track. I mean, just an incredibly athletic family. Would you say it's in her blood? <laughs> I would say that. <laughs> there she is. There she is with the rebound right on cue. She had some foul trouble the first half. We yeah. didn't really get to see a lot of grimes. And they do. Points in the paint. It's been advantage Monmouth by 20. But the difference has really been the th shooting of, of Tennessee Tech. Yeah, the, the, the three-point shots just helped Tennessee Tech separate. Monmouth got the ball inside, but they missed a lot of layups, a lot of chip shots that normally go in for them. Jordan Brock makes both free throws. Her 16 points tonight equals a season high. Baseline nice. three, Jania Hall. Let's see if they, they run up and throw long here. Monmouth with the full court pressure. Good passing by Tennessee Tech. And precious time running off the clock. Well, Sue Bird and Diana Tarasi are headed to Dallas and bringing their insight, experience, and humor along with them live on ESPN2 and ESPN+. Plus. Great chance. I think Virginia Tech has the gr a great chance. The number one seeds are, are, I thought it was really solid. If it were the number one seeds, Indiana and Virginia yeah. Tech, making it to their first Final Fours in the NCAA era, that would, a number one seed, Indiana. They're expecting over 12,000 fans. Over 12,000 tickets have already been sold, so we might yeah. have a sellout. They get her the ball inside, although they'd have some great three-point shooters. Yeah, she is one of the, the most efficient. We're so glad to be here, to be here in person. Oh, and, and what an atmosphere. Wow. So Tennessee Tech taking care of business. What a game for Jordan Brock. In her sixth season, had a, a terrific afternoon, evening from the three-point line. Ah. 47 seconds is yeah, a lot of absolutely. time. Absolutely. Well, she can make these two, Brenda, and then miss the, the miss the next one, and they get a rebound and put it up. And... So Tinsley makes the first two. And I would anticipate that Tennessee Tech's going to call a timeout and advance the ball. But is not. And a foul in the backcourt will send Anna Walker to the free throw line. And in this game, yeah, I, I, Maybe wasn't her best game, but what a great competitor. She picked her game up towards the end. Has been a great influence on these, on her players, her teammates, and uh, tough to go out that way. Anna Walker with the block, and then Monmouth commits another foul. Jenny Bogus and Monmouth have a lot to be proud of. Members of that 1983 team are so proud. They've been supporting this program. The whole community is so proud. Coach Bogus is going to do great things, and uh, she'll be in this position again. Now we talked about Tinsley being a, a grad transfer. And also Lauro here, the OVC tournament champion coming in here, red hot from three-point range. The Golden Eagles of Tennessee Tech and Cookville, Tennessee. Cook Vegas. Tennessee Tech with its first NCAA victory since 1990 gets the victory tonight. Kim Roseman and her coaching staff hugging.